It's a gorgeous evening at Explorer Stadium in Orlando, Florida, as we get set for the Orlando Pride and OL Reign. Welcome in. I'm Josh Tolan. With me is former U.S. International Casey White. And Casey, big news in the NWSL just coming yesterday with the Orlando Pride's head coach, Mark Skinner, stepping down as he will take over the Manchester United job. So that means interim head coach Carl Green will take charge tonight. Yeah, congratulations to Mark Skinner for his new position. Um, the Orlando Pride have done really well this year and had a great start. And Carl Green will look to continue that tonight in his last game for Orlando Pride it has been a while since their last win you have to go back to the end of May when they last were on the winning side of things uh, yes it's been a stretch for them that they haven't been super happy with especially after that hot start where they were really at the top of the table for quite a few weeks but um, they have a lot of experience on that front line that's going to be helpful for them as you see LaRue here um, with her finish in this game versus KC Returning home is always a good thing. You look at them looking to add more firepower. But one of the players that we have key tonight to watch out for is veteran leader Allie Krieger. Allie Krieger brings so much experience to this back line. She's a great individual player, but just organizationally and being able to bring confidence to the players in front of her is, is huge for the Orlando Pride. It's been a while since these two teams have last met. You go back to October of 2019, the last time these two faced off against one another. And this was a back and forth game, 2-2 draw at Orlando, as you see, then putting it away right there. But this here you see Jody Taylor on the ball, a little individual effort for the other side, scoring a goal. And then this ball pops out, and Marta is able to get a great strike on this ball here for the Orlando Pride. Jody Taylor will be starting tonight against her former club, so that will be fun to see. A person that's going to be coming off the bench, though, is Bethany Balser, and she's been fantastic here these last five games. She's been in great form, and to have the ability to bring her off the bench and to have that firepower and that scoring form to come into the game is great for the rain today. Four goals in the last five games for Bethany Balser as we take a look at the starting 11. And first, we'll begin with OL Rain, And this is what interim coach Sam Lady will bring out. I mean, look at that front three. I mean, you've got Los Somer, Huerta, and King. A lot of dynamic ability. And Marajan right in behind them. A lot of goals could come from this group today. And then on the other side for Carl Green, this will be his starting 11. Some familiar faces, and like we talked about a little bit ago, Jody Taylor getting the start against her former club. And bringing her into the lineup allows LaRue and Korniak to play off in some different spaces. Um, when you have another player that can score goals like that, it just allows more people to be able to um, impact the game. Three more points on the line in what is a close race in the NWSL for the playoff position spots. Six playoff teams this year. Three more points on the line, and we'll get it going here in moments between Orlando Pride and OL Reign.
Welcome back as we get set for the Orlando Pride in OL Reign. Orlando Pride right now in that fifth spot in the playoffs. Meanwhile, OL Reign looking to move up in the standings as well, sitting in the ninth spot, trying to get a victory on the road here in Orlando. Orlando looking to stop a four game winless streak, three losses, one draw during that time. Meanwhile, OL Reign coming off a tough loss last week against Chicago in which they fell three to one. They did score two home goals, which is the bad news on that one for OL Reign, but they are looking to bounce back here this evening at Exploria Stadium. Beautiful night, crowd still rolling in. Our referee tonight in the center of the field will be John Mato. He will be in control as he is about to give us the go ahead whistle here to begin this one between these two clubs. You go back the last time these two teams played Casey, 651 days ago, 2019 in the month of October as we are underway. OL Reign in the all white kits. Meanwhile, it, Orlando in those Ad Astra kits. And for you, Casey, what are you looking for tonight from the, both these clubs? This game is very important for both of them for, for different reasons. Like you mentioned, Orlando Pride needing to get a win again, OL Reign being a little further down in the standings. But um, I really think it's going to be about which back line can really stay steady because there's a lot of attacking firepower in this game. Vigiano will play it ahead to Courtney Peterson. Peterson in that midfield role as she plays this over to Sydney LaRue. LaRue now at the end line will bring it back outside the area. Who tied for the lead league in goal scored with five on the season. Who tied with Lynn Williams of North Carolina and Ashley Hatch of the Washington Spirit. You look at Orlando getting the start tonight. Jody Taylor used to play with the rain. Her rights were traded in the offseason to North Carolina and then again to the Orlando Pride in the Carson Pickett deal. Fishlock will drop it off for Huerta. Huerta became the 10th player to have 20 assists in her NWSL career, getting the assist against the Chicago Red Stars as this is played out wide. Huerta, she'll move it back. Now to midfield. Cook switching sides. Cook trying to reach Lauren Barnes, couldn't connect. It's a good spell of possession there for OL Reign early on as they're trying to possess higher up the field. You know, obviously a miscue there, but possessing higher up the field, that's going to allow them to be more dangerous as the game goes on. What makes this game really interesting is you have two interim coaches taking on one another for the first time in NWSL history. Of course, you have Sam Lady for OL Reign. Laura Harvey will be back to take control for OL Reign after the Olympics. And then on the other side, Carl Green will make his one game appearance there with Mark Skinner, as we mentioned, taking the Manchester United job just yesterday. Strom. Strom got the start last week at right back, now making the start this week at left back as Huerta pushes up. Marjan. Has Barnes to her left, that's where she goes. Barnes plays it in. Headed away, but only as far as where it's up. Blocked up front. Weatherholt. Fishlock. King. Clarence, the player is slow to get up for Orlando. This one headed away by Huerta. Fishlock drops it off for Marjon. Marjon will play it in Fishlock. Barnes. Right there, Taylor will play it back to Korniak. Gets the return pass. Korniak flicking it out wide to Peterson. Hammond right with Peterson, knocks it away. Peterson will earn a corner for the pride. It was a good defensive effort there by Jody Taylor. Just they were all patient there, staying locked in, not letting OL Reign penetrate, even though there's some clear possession, and they get a counterattack off of it, which results in this corner kick. 
These games tend to be close between these two clubs. Seven draws all time, just one win for Orlando, just two for O.L. Reign. Fager will swing this in. Krieger plays it in, headed on, and that one's gonna find its way wide. And they just weren't able to clear it out here. This is a good ball out. Allie Krieger plays this ball just in behind the back line, and that's really hard for the back line as they're facing their own goal, as you see Korniak come through and just not able to get it on frame. Korniak, one goal on the season. University of Colorado's all-time leader in points and assists. Last year overseas for Korniak, playing in Germany, where she had 10 appearances. Barnes, that one hits off LaRue. Barnes able to drop this back. King battling for possession. Bethany Balser, questionable for tonight's game in this one. She has been on fire scoring the last three goals for O.L. Reign. She scored four goals in the last five games. So the question is, who's going to be up front for O.L. Reign that provides that firepower? Will it be Alyssa Mayer? Will it be King? Can Huerta get on the board? That's going to be the question for Sam Leite and O.L. Reign. Peterson will play this outside. Strom will drop it back. Turner to McLernan. McLernan last year also one of those players for Orlando Pride going overseas and playing in Sweden where she led the league in challenges one. Used to seeing at that left center back position but right now playing right center back this evening. with a back heel slowly back to Harris and Harris has to fall on top of it. And since this was a backwards pass, Harris needed to play that with her feet. Just this ball back from Vigiana, a little bit casual here. And just as the ball goes into Ashlyn Harris, it looks like she thinks she's going to get a touch on it, and it goes right into her and needing to use her feet there to clear it out of that space so it's not dangerous. You see Huerta right there looking to pounce on the ball, but now a dangerous opportunity from Arjan and O.L. Reign. You have to think with Ashlyn Harris making two penalty kick saves on the regular season this year, maybe that might be a better route for Orlando. Four total penalty kick saves on the year going back to the Challenge Cup. Yeah, this organization is really important here. You've got Ashley Harris in goal, which is great, but that organization is important as well. Marjan, that one punched away to King and then blocked off. Oh, a fortress back there on that back line for the Pride keeping that ball out for O.L. Reign, crowd letting them know their appreciation. Just a touch here, and Marjan looks to get it on frame. Ashlyn Harris coming up so big with the save there, and then able to get the second opportunity and make sure that doesn't get in the back of the goal. But that's a, that's a situation you don't see that often with that indirect kick inside the penalty area. And Orlando organized that extremely well for both the first opportunity and the second chance. You look at Ashton Harris this season, 28 saves on the year, third best in the NWSL. She is having one of the best seasons this year so far for a goalkeeper. If you want to talk about goalkeeper of the year, I think she's definitely in the conversation, might be the lead runner for that at the moment. She's absolutely making a case for herself for that. And she comes up with big saves and big moments. And for a team like the Orlando Pride, who started so strong, and you need a goalkeeper to make those saves. And um, she's really come up big for them. Booty with a missed touch, headed back in. Taylor giving chase. Cook right there. 
Alana Cook getting another start. She has played every minute so far since joining OL Reign this year. Marjan playing it up, and right there is Allie Krieger to intercept that pass. Vigiano, she'll play this back to McLernan. Orlando starting off this year on fire, unbeaten in their first seven before their first loss to Houston. Winless in the last four is Fishlock puts this on and in the corner for the first goal for OL Reign. Jess Fishlock with her second goal of the season. a good win of possession here by King and this sophisticated turn right here by Jess Fishlock is just high level and just wrong foots Ashlyn Harris there looking like she might go to the far post and slots it in near post for a great finish. Great job by Zira King winning that ball back for OL Reign and Fishlock with the finish and now an important lead on the road in Orlando. How do the Pride respond as Gunny Yonstar will play this out wide? Krieger. A little bit more firepower up front here for the Orlando Pride with the addition of Jody Taylor. 28 goals in her NWSL career. Sydney LaRue tied for the lead league right now and goals scored. Two players Orlando are without that are big additions up front are Marta and Alex Morgan. And how about Marta scoring her fifth Olympics, first player ever to do so. Men's or women's side, she's been on fire here this year. Fishlock gets it right back from Osamayar. It's a good recovery there by Ali Krieger. And O.L. Reign is really trying to establish that possession higher up the field. But what was so great about Fishlock's goal was it took one pass in a counterattack. Um, to be able to get that goal. And if they can do both sides of the game like that, they'll be very dangerous here. For O.L. Rain, that was their ninth goal on the season. Rain has had a lot of players in and out on the year with players coming out on loan. And that has really been a big difference for them. Now it's really just about getting that chemistry and really gelling with one another as this is played out wide to Madison Hammond. Hammond sidesteps Peterson. Fishlock in the center circle. Cook at the halfway line. Barnes plays it across, headed up by King, sent away by Jan Stotter. Hammond will recycle this to midfield. Weatherhold, the former Pride member. Plays it for King. La Samer, an offside flag is up against Eugenie La Samer. Turner will play this all the way back. Turner, last four seasons with Manchester United. Our Skinner now will be the head man at Manchester United. So maybe talk about exchanging flats. Jan Stotter turns. This is a better spell of possession for the Orlando Pride. You're going to see they're trying to be patient, but looking for something to break the back line as they play this ball in behind. LaRue able to get in behind Hyatt there and will draw the free kick. <laughs> and 
And Sam Hyatt was handed it the first yellow card of the game. LaRue got great positioning here, and she just used her body to get in front, and just an obvious foul there from Sam Hyatt. But she does very well on that first touch and just very strong on the ball in possession there from LaRue. Now, a great opportunity here for Orlando to find an equalizer. Jess Fishlock with the lone goal coming in the 10th minute. Krieger and Peterson will step just behind the ball. Peterson into the six. Vigiano. Krieger will now play it right back to the spot. Hammond does great defensively to get that ball out. That first ball was extremely dangerous, though. That was in just over the head of Jan's daughter. Um, just a little more driven, a little lower. It would have been a great near post run there. Strom gained her second straight start. She does have NWL experience with the Boston Breakers in 2016 and 2017 as Strom will play this out wide to Peterson. Sinnon with the left foot. LaRue. Sam Hyatt with the block on that shot, and now played out by Hammond. Vigiano. Krieger looping it forward, headed backwards. And now a corner once again for Orlando. Krieger, low liner. Krieger looking to go that near post, but kind of Janssar unable to get anything on frame. LaRue. Sends it across, looking for Cornick, headed away. Janssar plays it outside. Left footed ball, and that one flies wide. to see LaRue here looking to pick someone out in the penalty area and Alana Cook just brave getting ahead on that ball and then the final opportunity here on the left foot just looking to make something dangerous out of it but not able to get it on frame. Fishlock looking for King in the channel. King has Lissamera in the front. And this one sent away by Strom. Weatherholt. Weatherholt in our second season with O.L. Reign since coming over from the Orlando Pride. King looking to give it right back to Weatherholt. There you see Sidney LaRue running over Lauren Barnes and a free kick now here for O.L. Reign. John will line up.
Marjan, plenty of professional experience, made her debut at the age of 14 in the German Bundesliga. She'll play towards the spot. The Samara flicks it up. It's not a bad idea playing into that area. It just didn't have a lot of pace on it. But Lisa Mayer makes such a dangerous run there. That ball has a little bit more pace. She's probably able to flick that on, at least trying to get it, you know, to test Ashlyn Harris. Lisa Mayer is still looking for that first NWSL goal as she connects with Fishlock. Fishlock denied by Harris. Vigiano clears it. Or Jean looping it over. Lisa Mayer in that one denied once again. Two big saves by Ashlyn Harris. What an incredible ball by Mara Jean. So clever in the final third. And Lisa Mayer just making Ashlyn Harris work right now. Harris, 28 saves coming into the game. You can add a couple more right there on that last possession for O.L. Reign. You have a turnover right here, and Fishlock's able to get in, looking to try to get to that back post area. Great save and cleared by Vigiano. And then the clever ball here, just to chip it over the top. Les Omer connects quite well with it, but Harris up to the task. I don't know if you've seen Abby's Places yet, but go check out the episode where Abby Wambach interviews Ashlyn Harris on the key to being a goalkeeper. Just showing there why she's one of the best to ever do it here in the exactly. NWSL. And plenty of international experience for Harris as well. Peterson will play this outside. Strom right back inside of Peterson. Vigiano. Hammond right there to deny Vigiano any chance getting forward. And we have the collision between the two players. This mare is slow to get up for O.L. Reign. Corniak, Vigiano, Taylor giving chase, but right there is Cook, Booty sends it high into the sky, and this will be a throw for Orlando. It's better by Orlando in possession. They're looking to break lines now. Even if it's not the perfect ball, they're looking to put O.L. Reign a little bit more under pressure, so it's higher up the field. With some air. Peterson loses possession. Arjan, Fishlock going out wide for King. King to that right foot. That one right into the stomach of Harris. Look at Zierra King, proven goal scorer at NC State, where she had 42 goals in her career. It's just only a matter of time before she breaks out here in the NWSL. Began her career with Utah Royals FC before coming in over in an offseason move to O.L. Reign. Strong last season with Atletico Madrid before coming back stateside. King. Barnes. Barnes, former defender of the year here in the NWSL in 2016. 
Easter Senior playing center back, but now back at that outside back position as she'll slide this through to King, who goes out to Fishlock. Fishlock, we're gonna stop this one, Alyssa Mayer. Korniak. connection between Les Amer and Fishlock is evident, I think, in these first 25 minutes. There's so much interchange in that space, and it's allowing the space to be created from their movement on the outside. So the rain's really been able to penetrate and keep that possession higher up the field. Fishlock and Les Amer, also former teammates with Lyon. You can add Bouidi and Marjan in there as well. A lot of that connection making it easier for these players to gel since coming stateside. Learning. <laughs> Cook will drop this all the way back to Bouidi. Puts a high into the air. Youngstar able to get underneath. Peterson, the player, slow to get up for the pride. Peterson, number seven overall in 2020, has a goal on the season. One to nothing is our score. Jess Fishlock with the lone goal in this one. Josh Toll and former U.S. international Casey White with you this evening. First of two games today, as more excitement builds here in the NWSL. Last night, you had Kansas City in North Carolina. That one ending in a 0-0 draw. You'll have Houston Dash taking on the Portland Thorns tonight at 8.30. And then you'll have Gotham FC Chicago tomorrow, as well as Race in Louisville taking on the Washington Spirit. So back to five games on this week. Last week, we had two teams off with a bye. So you see Fishlock able to walk off a little gingerly. Take a look back at how this game became 1-0. Zara King just does well to, you know, her first pass after the turnover to find Fishlock. Wrong-footing Ashlyn Harris there with that right-footed finish, but just a clever look here and finish from Fishlock in that penalty area. For you right now, what would you like to see a little bit more from Orlando to give themselves an opportunity to get that equalizer? Their only opportunity really has come off dispossessing in their attacking third. So off of Bua D when she tried to play quick um, and set pieces. So in possession, I'd like to see them try to turn the backs of the back line um, of OL Reign and play balls that are going to break lines more often. They're possessing and they're in, but there's a lot of turnovers created from that. And OL Reign has been able to press higher up the field. Arjan looking for Alyssa Mayer. You look at Buadi not playing as aggressive as yet tonight as we've seen her in the past where she'll get off her line, play well up above the top of the 18. We'll see how that plays a factor here this evening. She's maybe going to try to be a little bit more relaxed and stay back. And she really hasn't had, you know, a need to do it. We know that that's part of her DNA and something she's able to do well. Um, but she hasn't really had a need to, so it'd be interesting to see if Orlando Pride does decide to do that, if that starts to change a little bit, and then they've got to find another way to attack them because having a goalkeeper that can do that is very helpful. LaRue with three defenders on her, able to loot them. Look at between these two teams, total of nine players gone in the Olympics, five for OL Reign, four for the Orlando Pride. Alex Morgan getting a goal earlier today, as well as Marta for their respective countries.
Turner on the return pass. King. Arjan will play this all the way back. Booty. Diagonal ball outside. Much different looking team than we've seen in the past two years. Started off strong, unbeaten in their first seven large reason. While they're right now still in that fifth spot in the standings. Bull Rain, they've struggled to start this year. For Orlando, two wins at home on the year, just one on the road for OL Rain. Go back last time these two teams played one another 651 days ago in a game that ended in a two to two draw. Jody Taylor, one of the goal scorers in that game, now with Orlando, but during 2019 was with Rain. And again, you just see the pride there struggling to build out against the way the Rain is pressing. Um, they're showing a good mix of pressing and also with sitting and being patient. And that mix, I think, is really hard for the Orlando Pride right now as they play out. But they are looking to switch it up, go long sometimes and go short. Uh, but it's just finding different spaces to play out of. Hyatt. Barnes will play this right back to Hyatt, who won two national championships with Stanford in 2017 and 2019. King on the far touch line. Fishlock. Huerta. Marjan just challenges the back line here and Fishlock a great little ball out and this is a dangerous ball across the box. Le Sommer looks like she might be able to get it but it's just outside of her reach as it goes across the six yard box there. Hammond. Unable to keep that one in. This will come back for a throw for Orlando. First time two in a row coaches going against one other. Sam Leite for OL Reign and Carl Green tonight for the Orlando Pride, Amanda Duffy said they are going to try to find a coach by the end of the year, preferably by the end of the season, as they want to try to build this team in the offseason and going into next year's draft. It's going to be interesting to see the candidates that they look at bringing in as Fishlock wins a kick. John Mata trying to slow things down here, get this game back under control. He's been with the club since 2013. Laura Harvey will take over in her second stint with OL Reign. Was there 2013 to 2017? Arjan towards the top of the area. Korniak heads it out. Youngstar flicks it back.
Taylor, the player on the ground, Cook with the foul. Free kick here for Orlando. And then we'll have another yellow card handed out as this one will go to Alana Cook. So both the center backs tonight for O.L. Reign with a yellow card. And Jody Taylor just does well here. She gets in front, gets her body in front and uh, does well to spin out of that a little bit. But as a, a lot of cook comes right through the ball pretty hard there. Korniak will get set to take this free kick for the pride. Korniak plays it in, and that one just rises over the crossbar. Korniak does have a goal on the season, looking for that second one, unable to get it there. She can score goals, and I would have gone for that as well. Their main opportunities have been off either a turnover or set pieces that close to goal. Um, and she has a history of being able to, to score those. Um, so just getting on frame will be important, but I would go for it as well. 12 goals her senior year at CU as Huerta loses possession, but then regains it almost, and then it goes right back to Orlando. Peterson, Strom. Booty gets that on the near post. Jody Taylor right in the area. Woody, 13 saves on the season. She does have one shutout on the year as well. Big win, Marissa. Big win. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. John was set up. Right footed ball driven on. That's a clever look right there. Ashlyn Harris was expecting that ball in behind the back line and just looking to kind of see if she could catch her out there. But Harris's experience shows she knows she's not going to let that whole goal be open. But I like the look from Marjan. Jan Stotter. Krieger pushes it up, but right there is Barnes to play right back to Fishlock. Wilson Air. Offside flag, though, is up once again against O.L. Reign. Thomas. LaRue cuts to that left. Offside flag though off against Sydney LaRue. Trying to time that run. This ball from Jody Taylor. Wow. You can see why people are upset um, on that call. I mean, that's a great ball and well timed in behind. And you can see how Orlando is so dangerous very quickly. We're looking for that sixth goal on the season. Nearly had it there, just maybe an arm or a leg offside. Tough one for the home crowd. King. Play it down the line, Fishlock. 
Lose his possession. Vigiano will drop this off for Krieger. And no one up front for the pride. Weatherholt. Strom. Plenty of stuff for you at half. We'll have highlights from last night's game as well as highlights from the first half of this one. Lone goal coming by Jess Fishlock in the 10th minute for OL Reign. Assisted by Zierra King is this is going to find the leg of Lissamer and she'll play it out to the top right corner of the box. Where it's up. And again, that opportunity comes from a turnover in the defensive half for the Orlando Pride. OL Reign is very hard to build out against, and they're finding a lot of opportunities once they win possession and go forward. Taylor. Hyatt. To her center back partner. Cook comes near side to Hammond. John Hammond. Oh, rain one win under Sam Lee. T two losses. Looking for that second victory here. Hoping to get it on the road. King. Krieger will play it up. Flicked on. LaRue. Vigiano to Korniak. Near side to Strom. Strom put it near post, and that one will find its way past the end line. Some air. Where it uh, turns away. So you wonder where that combination was Marazan, but knocked over on the play was where it's by Strom. John will walk to in line to pick up the ball and bring it back and try to get that second goal for OL Reign. Yeah, it's not in any real rush here, being up 1-0 and going into halftime here, especially when they have this opportunity. Um, and the services from Arjan have been very good today so far, and they've been really high quality. You look at OL Reign, just two times on the season have they scored multiple goals in a game, the last one of the victory over Kansas City, 2-0, where Bethany Balser had both goals. Rajon plays it through to the back post.
figure trying to play it out wide to Taylor. Cook right there. Booty sends it forward with the right foot. Korniak, Vigiano. Krieger. Strom. Youngstar will play it over to the right side to Vigiano. Looks to line this up, plays it in. Chance here for Peterson! Sends it wide and back. Peterson had a wide open frame. And this one went across the box as opposed to being on target. And that's about as good of a chance as you're going to get. This ball from Vigiano just puts it into the penalty area. Super dangerous. Buadi is super aggressive and just can't get it on frame there from Peterson. But that's such a great opportunity for the Orlando Pride just by getting it into the penalty area. You look back at that, just one player back for O.L. Reign. Pretty much a wide open goal for Peterson. Just one of those touches she would like to have back in what could have been a one-to-one -one game as Buadi is the player slow to get up for O.L. Reign. It's one of those moments you probably realize, okay, I probably should have taken a touch even. Um, they only had one player going back to support behind Buadi in case that did happen, um, which was good by that player, but there was more time um, for that opportunity. Would you maybe call that a little bit of inexperience there being in his second year? It could be, um, or just not understanding how, you know, in that penalty area that you can be a little bit more composed. Um, and sometimes it's surprising when a goalkeeper comes for it and isn't able to bring it in. So I think just the anticipating of it probably wasn't there for Peterson. Just a little rush as she receives the ball, but then it bounces off her foot for a throw. Vigiano. Peterson has two players in the six. Crosses it. Vigiano. Clernan, Turner, plays it towards the top of the area. And there is the whistle to end the first half. Casey, your thoughts on the first 45 minutes of action? Well, it's such a close game. There's so, been so many opportunities for the OL Reign, but getting a second one is going to be important for them as Orlando Pride shows that even if they don't have the majority of that possession, they're dangerous and they can create opportunities. You said they show those the, the ability to be dangerous in those opportunities late. Can they build on that as one head to half? Orlando trailing in this one by one gold lone goal coming from Jess Fishlock that back in the 10th minute at half we'll have plenty more for you as we'll look back at highlights from yesterday and highlights from this one you're watching the NWSL on Twitch.
Welcome back. We are in Half at Explorer Stadium between the Orlando Pride and O.L. Rain. Well, two games tonight. We had one yesterday in what we saw a big NWSL trade earlier in the week between Kansas City and North Carolina. Well, they went at it last night, ending in a scoreless draw. Yeah, and this is a great ball in Taylor Smith and Kristen Edmonds is able to block that right on the line. But what composure there in the penalty box and Edmonds to the rescue to make sure that doesn't go in. And then a chance here in the 51st minute, but unable to capitalize was Kansas City. And this is a dangerous ball into that near post area, just looking to deflect it on. Good ball into midfield for the courage to O'Sullivan. And Leistro is able to try to catch Murphy off her line, not able to do it. But just from a turnover of possession here, there's an opportunity for Kansas City. OK, Kansas City looking like a much different team last night, a little bit more explosive, just couldn't get the result they wanted. Yeah, there's a lot of fight here in this group, and this is a great aggressive touch by Mace, looking for that far post, and a good touch here just to keep it past that far post. That game ending scoreless, and now we will take a look at the upcoming schedule. Well, we have two more games tomorrow. Gotham FC hosting Chicago Red Stars, racing Louisville, and Washington Spirit. That one will be at 7.30 Eastern, and then next Saturday, right back to it. North Carolina taking on Orlando, and OL Reign taking on racing Louisville. Another fun week coming up. It is. A lot of good games. I'm really looking forward to that Racing Louisville-Washington Spirit matchup. Um, there's many people who are trying to get more points here now, and it's so tight in those standings that it's going to be important. And we are at half right now between Orlando and OL Rain. When we return, we'll have highlights and stats.
45 minutes in the books between the Orlando Pride and O.L. Reign. Visitors on top at the moment, 1-0, to zero, as we'll take a look back at the first half highlights between these two clubs. And Orlando would get going a little bit earlier, but you have this little pass back that was a mistake. Yeah, it was a little casual going back, and Harris not able to pick that up there, but defended well, blocked by Harris, and then the additional block here by Strom. Just done, picture perfect here, letting Harris come out, get the first save, and making sure this doesn't turn into a goal. King does well here to pressure Krieger, and the ball's played in. What a great turn by Fishlock and a great finish to that near post area. This is the goal that puts O.L. Reign up on top, and she's able to find the back of the net. And then Jody Taylor coming back into midfield and playing this ball in behind, called offside, looks to be nowhere near it. Sydney LaRue gets in behind here. Great individual effort and a finish, but it wouldn't count. Great chance there, but even with that effort, maybe that's something that gets Orlando going here into the second half, getting LaRue going there late. Yes, and they were able to create a little bit more here. Vigiano plays this in and Buadi, very aggressive to come forward, but Peterson knocks it across, not able to take advantage of the somewhat open net here of the OL reign. You look at lone player back, there was Hyatt, and Peterson sends it wide. As we take a look at the stats, even on possession, shots on goal, that's what separates these two teams. Both teams have really been able to create the majority of opportunities off turnovers. And the OL Reign has done it a little bit more often and able to turn that into actual attacking chances more than the Orlando Pride so far, but both have been able to. All 45 minutes has shown us right now, OL Reign with the lead 1-0. Can they maintain it here in this second half or will Orlando find a way to not think up we'll find out in just a matter of moments as we'll return with second half kick for you right here on twitch
moments away from the second half here at Explorer Stadium in Orlando, Florida, as Orlando trails OL Reign 1-0. Josh Tolan, former U.S. international, Casey White with you. And Casey, coming out of your half, what adjustments are you looking to Orlando to make? I'd like to see Orlando look to continue to break lines. You can see when they find LaRue up top, they're more dangerous. Jody Taylor started to drop into that midfield space, which offset the numbers um, to get better possession. And I think that could work for them if they continue to find the space in between the lines. And for Oral Rain, what do you expect out of them this second half as they try to get that second goal? I think more of the same. They were successful and getting a lot of shots on frame over um, turnovers from the Orlando Pride out of the back. So I would expect to see the same thing and maybe just continued possession in the final third. We are underway here in the second half at Exploria Stadium as Vigiano will play it back to McLernan. McLernan now will go right over the top, looking for Korniak, but King right there. King with an assist on the goal by Jess Fishlock. The biggest difference in that first half that we saw, and it showed on the stats, the shots on goal, six for O.L. Reign, zero for the pride. Yes, to have six out of your 11 on frame, you're being efficient. Um, there's one bound to go in like they had, and they not only created opportunities, but made sure that they took care of the details. You look at five saves already on the evening for Ashlyn Harris. Ashlyn Harris coming third in the NWSL in saves behind Michelle Betos, who has 49, and Casey Murphy with 36. Chance here right away for O.L. Rain on a free kick. Arjan lines up. So one delivered into the six, headed away. Cook tracking back. Hammond right back to Cook. Just join us. You haven't heard the big news in the NWL. Mark Skinner stepping down yesterday. So interim coach Carl Green in control for the Orlando Pride tonight. Skinner taking the job with Manchester United as Gunny Unstarter loses possession. Now King looking to connect with Fishlock and breaking that one up is Amy Turner. Arjan able to get around Korniak. Barnes, Barnes over 150 appearances, all with O.L. Reign. First player to ever do that with one team. Headed on. Peterson, Barnes right in front. Over to help is King. Peterson, earlier in the year, we saw her at the outside back position, but now slotted into that midfield. Hyatt. Cook right back to Hyatt. Both center backs with a yellow card for O.L. Reign on the evening. Barnes. Youngstutter just could not get the touch she wanted on that to control possession for Orlando. Played high up into the air and it's going to land behind the netting. Oh, 
Polo Reign. Three wins on the season. Right now in that ninth position. The stands as Fishlock plays it through the Samir. And that one blocked away by Harris. And Harris able to cover it up. And again, it's those entry passes from the pride into the midfield. The OL Reign are winning possession in that area. And a little ball from Fishlock there to Le Sommer. Gets a touch on it and able to keep it out. But it's those quick counterattacks that have really helped OL Reign generate chances as they're defending very well in their blocks, playing patient, and they're able to step and win balls in that middle third. Knocked over is where it's uh... We're just saying that's the second time that Strom's knocked her over. That should be a yellow card. We're to we'll make her way to the top of the area. Marshawn will look to send this ball forward. Harris goes up top, grabs this out of the air. Krieger nearly lost possession once again. King doing a good job defensively, trying to force the mistake of the Orlando Prides outside back. King with the right, trying to curl it in, it does! Zero King with her first goal for the OL Reign. King now with a goal and an assist on the evening. You can see Korniak here on the ball, tries to drop deeper to keep possession, and Krieger just dispossessed. A little clever ball from Les Amer, and King just bends it into that far corner. Looked like the sight line of Ashlyn Harris um, was blocked, and just a great finish around, picks her spot, and celebrates accordingly. King now giving O.L. Reign the two-goal lead. Celebration in store there for O.L. Reign and Zira King. Last year with Utah and now with O.L. Reign. Trading the offseason for Darian Jenkins. Really made her mark scoring in her debut last year in the Challenge Cup against Houston. John going right up and over. Gunny Yonstadter as Fishlock will play it out wide. Huerta backing up is Strom. Strom inching forward. Peterson. Turner going direct. Arjan looking for Fishlock, and this will find its way all the way back to Ash and Harris. For Orlando now trailing two goals to zero. What are you looking forward for them here now as they look to build? What can you see more of out of that midfield for this Orlando side? I think it's a number situation right now. So it's not so much a 3v3 in midfield. The OL Reign has made it more of a 4v3 or 5v3. So the outside backs are gonna be really important for Orlando Pride to get further up into that middle third so they can start to get more possession higher up the field or even the wingers coming back into those spaces. So just that interchange to create more numbers up so they can possess the ball higher is gonna be helpful for them. But it's easier said than done. Um, the defensive shape of OL Reign has made that really difficult today. Randall going to hold on to this win. It'd be their first time ever getting a win at Exploria Stadium. 
all four games here have been draws between these two clubs. Near giveaway there. You see Peterson trying to take advantage, advantage of the aggressiveness of Booty. And she gives that ball at her feet. And now King in the channel. Has Fishlock in the middle. And that's well played by Booty on that end. But I think the Orlando Pride needs to take advantage of that. I'm glad to see Peterson pressing that high. They can create opportunities just by pressing when those moments happen and get themselves right back into the game. Krieger. Arjan will switch sides. Hammond. Hyatt just outside the circle now steps in. Barnes with that captain armband once again. Huerta switching sides. Barnes looking for Fishlock. Fishlock able to head away, but out of play as Fishlock now slow to get up. Fishlock scoring the first goal in this game in the 10th minute. This ball played in by Barnes, and you can see the challenge here. Just looks like when she comes down, it's just a little bit of pain as she comes down there, but um, a challenge that was a difficult one with Turner. Fans, visit the NWCLshop.com to find your club's latest gear. Support your favorite NWCL club with the latest tees, sweatshirts, hats, novelties, and more. Strom down the line. If you look at OL Reign, two goals tonight. Before this game, Bethany Balser had scored the last three goals for O.L. Rain now two different players getting on the score sheet for O.L. Rain tonight and Fishlock and King. That King goal assisted by Le Samer. Krieger is gonna let this one roll out of play for a throw and we should see a pair of subs here come on. Looks like we will hold off on the substitutions at the moment. The Samer to the right. And a hard challenge there by Turner. And this is going to come to the spot. Turner with the tackle on the Samer. And now you've seen Ashton Harris already this regular season make two saves. There's a good ball in by Huerta there and a touch Le Samer. And this is the call from on the tackle from Turner. And she definitely touches the ball there, so that might be a bit harsh, but nonetheless, it was called. So last week, Ashton Harris making a stop on Rocky Rodriguez. Can she make it two weeks in a row? Well, now she's the player slow to get up. 
She's been tremendous this season, stopping penalties four total between regular season and Challenge Cup. As Jess Fishlock looks to set up at the spot. Very questionable call there, going in favor of O.L. Rain. And you could see Turner talking to our referee and saying, look, <laughs> I'm assuming at the replay in the stadium of her touching the ball. Uh, she didn't seem to be too behind, more from the side, but um, it, is, it is tough in that run of play there, but it's a tough call for Turner for sure. Oh, Rain looking to add to their goal total. And there you see Crystal Thomas and Maggie Dory Howard getting ready to come in for Orlando Pride. see that collision at the end with Ashlyn Harris as well. So taking her time, wanting to be ready for this one because this is a critical moment right here in the game. And now Harris looking for back-to-back -back weeks with a penalty kick save. Step up. A chance here to make it three to nil. Fish lock. And Harris does it once again. And now Weatherholt dispossessed the ball by Krieger. What another big save by Ashlyn Harris. Unbelievable. What a save. Crowd loving it. Fishlock takes her time here, and as she just goes across her body to Ashlyn Harris's left, not quite in the corner. What a great save, and she gets right up. The Orlando Pride defenders are coming to her rescue on that rebound and able to get it out. Ashlyn Harris now five stops on penalty kick tries throughout 2021. And now Jody Taylor will come off. On will come Miami Doherty Howard. Crystal Thomas will also come in for Phoebe McLernan. And then we'll see a pair of subs for O.L. Rain as well as Bethany Balser will enter the game. Balser will replace Zierra King. King with a goal and an assist tonight. And we'll hold off on those OL Reign subs. And then Thomas taking down with some air. It'll be interesting to see if this is a momentum shift. That's such a big moment right there for the Orlando Pride. I mean, you're looking at 2-0 or 3-0. At 3-0, it's it almost becomes insurmountable as the game ticks down here. But now you get one goal back, and everything can change in this game. Jess Fishlock will head off, and Shirley Cruz will replace her. So Fishlock a moment ago missed an opportunity from the spot as Ashton Harris denied her. And now Bethany Balser will come in for Zierra King. And Fishlock rightfully upset there. You could tell as she came off, but she's been crucial for OL Reign tonight and just played in some great spaces off the side of the sixes of the Orlando Pride and caused problems all night. Korniak. Yonstar. 
Thomas, who just subbed on. Balser. Balser has been on fire as of late for OL Reign. She'll look to continue that streak here. This one sent into the stands by Orlando. They do have their work cut out for them, trailing two to zero, but maybe momentum switching their direction after that big stop by Ash and Harris moments ago. Let's see what the Paris subs do, bring a little bit more life to this Orlando side and Crystal Thomas and Maggie Doherty Howard. Cruz. Doherty Howard. Playing this out simply is Lana Cook with Sydney LaRue right by her hip. With those subs, there's been quite a few switches for Orlando Pride just in where they are on the field that Sydney LaRue's going through that middle area now. Um, and switched up some things in the back as well. Doherty Howard in her first season with the Orlando Pride since coming over from the Washington Spirit. Crystal Thomas, also a former member of the Spirits. This is played in by Doherty Howard. Jan Stoddard lays it off for Krieger. The Orlando Pride, they've scored in all but one game this season as they look for some more late game heroics. Just a couple of weeks ago, we saw Sydney LaRue score in the 94th minute for the Pride in a big draw. But then last week, Marissa Vigiano getting the latest goal now in club history with 94 minutes and 56 seconds as she scored. And now that one played off the arm of Vigiano. And now Marissa Vigiano handed a yellow card. Both teams with two yellow cards handed out here tonight. Vigiano and Amy Turner for Orlando, Sam High, and Alana Cook for O.L. Reign. Ball serve. Arjan will play it out wide. Hammond. Hammond able to get around Maggie Doherty Howard. Huerta. Puts it on the ground and easy stop there for Ashlyn Harris. You look at Ashton Harris tonight, she's made eight saves, 10 shots on target in total for O.L. Reign. That's still the biggest difference in this game. Pride yet to have a shot on target. Vigiano, Doherty Howard. For you, what is O.L. Reign doing such a good job from preventing Orlando from getting a shot on target? Well, the O.L. Reign tucks in their wingers defensively and 
they're able to shut down spaces in the midfield and then their outside back step high if they do play wide. So a lot of times, you know, it is the initial pressure, but Lisa Mayer is not just running at them with, you know, no purpose. She's dictating where they play. She's taking her time. So it almost gives a false sense of time and space to play that's not really there. So making that predictable, the midfield stepping in, the wingers are stepping in and winning it, and you're seeing opportunities come from that. ahead we're looking for Thomas Thomas on the inline crossing Booty right there on the near post a little rain one and four away from Tacoma looking for that second road win of the year only road win coming in the Cascadia rivalry against the Portland Thorns. And that's better for the Orlando Pride right there with them pressing high as well. Kylie Strong stepped a little higher. Young's daughter got a little bit higher and they were able to win possession there. Peterson sends this in. And that one just over the head of LaRue. Thomas though able to track it down for the Pride. Young's daughter. And he had the high boot there by Korniak. Getting Sam Hyatt. Sam Hyatt was going in front to try to block the shot attempt. And Young's daughter looking just to pick someone out here in the penalty area. And Hyatt really commits to that clearance and is on the tough part of the challenge from Korniak. So Korniak is getting the chest of Hyatt there. Hyatt, though, able to walk off to the near sideline. Giving other players a chance here for a quick water break. A little bit more than 18 minutes left in this one as Orlando looks to crawl their way back into this. Looking for that first goal. All rain, getting goals from Jess Fishlock in the 10th minute, assisted by Zierra King. And then Zierra King, just seven minutes into the second half, getting her first goal of the season, assisted by Eugenie Lesmer. And with just 18 minutes or so left, Orlando Pride needs to continue to press higher when they have those opportunities that where the OL Reigns playing out of the back. Young's daughter getting a little higher, Doherty Howard getting higher. You just saw it helped and they were able to win it and keep it in their attacking third and generate an opportunity. Krieger, Turner, Vigiano, Korniak outside, Vigiano surveying the field, Try direct traffic will go out wide to Peterson. Vigiano. Cook going up to get that, headed back by Korniak, now played away by Cook. Krieger, played up towards the top of the 18. Uh -huh. 
Vigiano, left footed ball, looking for Kornick, heads it up! It's a great ball by Vigiano here, and Barnes does just enough to throw Korniak off where the timing of the jump just wasn't right to be able to get that down and get that on frame. But um, another dangerous ball from Orlando Pride, and they're starting to stay a little higher up the field and create some chances. A little bit, you know, of half chances right now, but they're starting to generate an attack. Jan's daughter. Balls are tripped up. And there's that whistle. And don't forget, Houston Dash and Portland Thorns going at it tonight. And then tomorrow, you have Gotham FC and Chicago Red Stars. And then Racing Louisville taking on the Washington Spirit. Where it's uh, out wide to Hammond. <laughs> Portland up right now against the Houston Dash with a Sophia Smith goal. The Samara, the player, is slow to get up for O.L. Reign. The Samara with the assist on the King goal. Sophia Smith scoring in the opening minute of play for the Thorns. O.L. Reign looking for their fourth win of the season. Currently three wins, six losses, and one draw for 10 points. Right now sitting in the ninth position in the standings. A win tonight would push him up above Louisville. So they move up one spot. They're looking at six points, separating the third spot in the league to the ninth spot. Portland right, Portland right now leading the way at the top of the table with 19 points. Dory Howard. Arjan looking for Balser. Offside flag down. Balls are crossing. Vigiano. Thomas. Leroux in the center, Cornet coming up. Thomas with the left. And now we will have another substitution for the Orlando Pride. Abby Kim will come on, and off will go Kylie Strom. Abby Kim looking to provide more punch up top for the Pride here. A little bit more than 10 minutes left in this game. Balser doing a good job getting an overturner. 
Huerta. And that one knocked away by the left hand of Ashlyn Harris. That's a great save by Harris. Huerta did an amazing job keeping that low. Tough strike through all that traffic in front of her and pushing it out for the corner. But just looking to isolate Peterson here. A great strike on frame and an even better save. Barnes playing it back. Weatherholt falls her back to Weatherholt. That one cleared away for a moment and now played out by Yonstar. Alyssa Mara nearly got a piece of that. Cruz. Corner once again for OL Reign. John will play through. Huerta. Cook. Cruz, Marjan. Cammy able to keep it in play. Korniak. Chance here for Crystal Thomas. Balser. The game's definitely starting to get stretched. It looks like he called the foul instead of the advantage there. But you can see that the spaces are starting to open up, which is better for Orlando Pride trying to get into those spaces and start running at the defense of the OL rain, but it's not necessarily creating chances yet, but for these last few minutes, just trying to make sure they go forward more often. Doherty Howard. LaRue. Good job there by Madison Hammond, stepping in front of the pass intended for Marissa Vigiano. Diagonal ball, chopped out of the air by Allie Krieger. Slowing things down for O.L. Rain. Kim. Passes midfield. Vigiano. Oh. 
hustle there by Jonstadter. I'm going to say last touch by Weatherholt, so this will be a throw now for Orlando. Hyatt plays it into the air. Ball, sir. Patience here by Rain. Kim. Brody Howard trying to elude Weatherholt. some air. Little room to run. Good tackle there by Jan Stotter. And now we'll have a couple of substitutions for O.L. Rain. And now Kristen McNabb will come in. She'll replace Mara Jean. Also coming off will be La Samare. And Celia will come on. So you see here, O.L. Rain making some defensive moves to try to close this one out, looking for the clean sheet tonight. And two very good performances from La Samare and Marjan. Uh, Marjan just keeping possession in midfield and La Samare playing in the half space so well. Very good performances on the evening for them too. Connie Plummer also looking to sub on for the Orlando Pride as she'll replace Tara Korniak. Erica Timrak also coming in for Marissa Vigiano. Cruz, good battle here between her and Allie Krieger. Three players around Cruz. Cruz just right there at the corner flag, at least milking a little bit more time off. Only one time this season has Orlando been shut out, that one and a loss to North Carolina. Meanwhile, O.L. Rain looking for their third clean sheet of the year. Now we'll have another yellow card handed out. This will go to Sydney LaRue. You see Sydney LaRue battling here, but it was a hard late challenge. An absolute foul, um, but I love that she's looking to battle right now. It's in her mind, it's not over, and she's trying to battle in that midfield area. It just comes in late. I'd like to see more players that have been subbed in go a little higher for the pride. Tim Rack. Hard challenge there. McNabb arguing her case. We'll take a look back at this hard challenge. Yeah, a hard step there from McNabb on Tim Rack. A good turn in midfield from Tim Rack and draws the foul there. 
And now a yellow card handed out to Kristen McNabb. Plenty of yellow cards handed on both sides. Jan Stotter. Huerta looking for Balser. Foot race between her and Krieger. Balser's going to win this one. Krieger, though, able to get back in position. Five minutes of stoppage time added on, and now it looks like Lauren Barnes is going to have a yellow card handed out for delaying the game too much as Camina Lopez is getting ready to check in. And it looks like that's what O.L. Reigns argues why Lopez not allowed to go in before that yellow card was handed out. So Lopez will now have to wait. Former try to squeeze through. And a dangerous chance here. McNabb already sitting on one yellow card. She's certainly making her defensive presence known in the minute she's had. That gives an opportunity here for Orlando Pride. Kanya Plummer here getting her body between the ball and McNabb and really no play for the ball at all there. Um, the perfect call in that moment. And now we will have that substitution. So Huerta will head off and Lopez will head on. Jordy Howard. Flipped on in this one wide. Abby Kim had an opportunity there. Just sends it wide of the frame. Ladies and gentlemen, the yellow card has been issued to Bowl Lane number three, Lauren Barnes, and at a time. Ball, sir. Kind of outside. Lopez giving chase. Harris. Turner goes outside. Peterson pushing it up. Weatherhold switching sides on the diagonal ball. Lopez tracking back his Kim. Plummer. Orlando slowly making their way down the field. LaRue. Kim. Playing for it. Krieger there for Orlando. LaRue's putting in a lot of work up top. It's just that quality from other players it's bouncing to to get a quality of service, quality of opportunity, but um, definitely industrious up there to try to create something for the pride. Krieger. 
Plummer battling for position with McNabb. McNabb. Celia, this one will take deflection off Peterson. Crows. Kim plays it away. <laughs> looking at Earl Rain, looking for their third clean sheet of the year for Sarah Booty. This would be her second in an OL rain kit. Karen Bardsley, the other keeper with a shutout so far this season for OL rain. Second time this season, Orlando will be shut out on the year. Unless they can have a last minute goal here as Tim Rack gives it over to Plummer. Jan Stotter. Well, Rain just waiting for that final whistle. And there is the final whistle. O.L. Rain goes on the road and gets the win. Two to nothing over the Orlando Pride. Casey, your thoughts on tonight's 90 minutes of action. Well, the O.L. Rain had a very veteran performance, in my opinion. They turned their pressing into opportunities, and then they had more quality possession in that middle third, and that seemed to be the difference today. You look at Zierra King right there. Goal and an assist. Jess Fishlock getting the first goal in this one to get their first win at Exploria Stadium as they now have on the season four wins on the year. We'll step aside when we return. We'll have highlights and stats from this game between Orlando and O.L. Reign.
Lang goes on the road, gets their third shutout of the season as they take down the Orlando Pride 2-0 to zero as we take a look back at the 90 minutes of action from this one between these two clubs. In the eighth minute, you have this dangerous back pass that almost led to a goal for O.L. Reign. A bit of confusion here as that back pass from McLaren goes to Harris, I think. She thought she might get a touch, but she comes up big with the save, as she seems to always do, and then the back line is able to get the second opportunity and make sure that is not a problem for them as they clear it out there. And then the buildup out of the back from Ali Krieger here. King able to dispossess and find Jess Fishlock. This would be the opening goal. She's able to find that near post past Ashlyn Harris, which is not easy to do and a great finish from her. And then the second half, once again, O.L. Reign causing some frustration on the defensive side for Orlando. King just able to pick out her spot again, working hard in that defensive block, winning the ball, and then just curling it around to the outstretched arms of Harris and a great finish there. A good ball in behind to Lissa Mayer here and a penalty kick call foul on Amy Turner, given the yellow card. And again, Ashlyn Harris comes up with the big save and the Orlando Pride defense is able to get it out as Fishlock goes to Harris's right there. Harris denying once again on the PK save there. You can see Fishlock though with a smile as her team does get the win. And this one as they go on the road, they get their fourth win of the season up next for OL. Saturday, they will host Louisville. That one at 10 p.m. Meanwhile, for Orlando, they will take on North Carolina. That one will be on the road for our crew. Casey White, I'm Josh Told. Thank you for watching.